Horizon Forbidden West is a technical marvel. While it had issues with the game itself, you can't deny just how beautiful it is on PS5. But now it has finally been ported to the PC, done by the team over at Nixus, who previously ported PlayStation games to PC. And generally, their ports are well received, and surprisingly, their games run pretty well on Steam Deck too. Now it's Forbidden West's time, and of course, we handheld gamers want to know how it runs on deck. And that's exactly what I've been trying to figure out for the past few hours. So can you play Forbidden West on the deck? Does it look okay? And most importantly, how does it feel to play? First off, the graphics options are deep, which is great for any rig. The minimum settings on Steam aren't too crazy, so I did have high hopes for this. To give the deck the best chance, I played the game on low settings with AMD FSR 2.0 on. I tried out the different settings for FSR and instead of setting it to a preset, I decided to use the dynamic settings so that the game will try its hardest to stay at 30 FPS. The rather linear opening had me quite hopeful. Character models in cutscenes looked fantastic and the foliage, which I think is the game's best feature, still looked dense and luscious. Where it takes the biggest graphical hit though is in the textures and the anti aliasing Jaggies are very noticeable when FSR isn't on full throttle, and when FSR is on full throttle, the game can look quite blurry with serious artifacts around Aloy. Of course, all of these issues will look worse as I am showing the footage blown up to 1080p, and you just have to take my word that in handheld mode, the game still looks gorgeous. All of the issues I just mentioned are way less noticeable, and the vibrant world and dense foliage pop, and I have to add that all the character models in and out of cutscenes look great too. Look, there will always be visual issues when playing a massive game like this on deck, regardless of whether you are playing it in handheld as it is intended, or plugged in with a dock, but I am genuinely surprised at how good this game can look on Steam Deck. In more open areas, the dynamic render scaling kicks in and things can look quite rough, as well as the frame rate dipping well below 20 FPS. This would happen at different points when there was a lot being rendered in the background, and then other times while exploring the world it would stay at a near locked 30 FPS. I think one of the biggest issues with the frame rate though are the transitions and cutscenes. When scenes are changing rapidly, the game chugs and it can take it out of the cutscenes big time. As far as how the game feels to play, I think I will put this in the almost playable to playable category. I think you have to accept that there will be massive drops as this game is wide open. So there's lots to be rendered at any one given time and you will see drops into the teens when exploring but as i said before i'm still surprised at how often this game runs at around 30 fps and sometimes even locked at 30 fps and it's pretty similar with combat 2 where it would dip regularly but never so low that the game froze and it does help that you can activate slow motion in combat and that the game has very nice tracking on aloy shots so even if it does dip then the shots mostly went where i wanted them to be while this is by no means an in-depth look at Forbidden West on the deck, I'm happy to say that I was pleasantly surprised by it. It does run on PS4 and on PS5 at 60 FPS, I think this game looks decidedly current gen. And coupled with the sheer size of the game and the foliage, I was somewhat skeptical of this game running on the Steam Deck. And look, I'm not going to sit here and say it's perfect. Sometimes it looks like a smudge, other times it drops frames like nobody's business. But after about 4 hours with the game and heading out into the open world, I think this is an acceptable way to experience the game. Especially if you're using it as a supplementary way to get some extra gaming in bed when you don't want to sit at your PC. Nix has continued to impress with these PC ports, and now I have high hopes for Ghost of Tsushima and I'm hoping that the game will run even better on deck than Forbidden West did. And before we go, if you have any questions about Forbidden West on the deck then let us know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to answer. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you all on the next video.